Morgan Stanley stole from their customers before. What makes you think they're not going to do it again? Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, wherever you are, whenever you are. Thank you for watching my videos. My name is DaVinci Jeremy and I'm in the pipe 5x5, five five, staying alive here in Dubai. Hope you're doing well. Hope all is good with you in the crypto space. It's always crazy. A lot of things going on, especially in the meme coin sector. I mean, please be careful out there. There's a lot of rug pulls and disasters going on, right? So yeah, be careful out there. So I'm trying to manage the, the latest cryptocurrency that I told you, the latest meme coin, which is surrounded by waffles. Uh, and we're working hard to, to get it, you know, to the where it should be. And I think we can do that. And then, you know, that's a, it's a meme coin for waffles. I'm going to, I'm going to be hiring a, a videographer to, to vi videotape waffles and, well, you know, post it on their, their, their Twitter page and a few other places. So yeah, be a part of the, the meme, the waffles meme. All right. With that said, also, I'm going to be uh, developing my own micro DJ 15 token, right? Because there's not a lot of D DJ 15 tokens out there. There's only like 27,000 and I'm going to be burning a whole bunch of that shortly. So there's going to be reducing the supply massively. So yeah, help us out by heading over to the link in the description below to test it out. I really appreciate it. Okay. With that said, let's, let me just show you guys the waffles token a little, a little bit of a down day, a little bit of down, but that's okay. Right. We're going to hold. I'm going to hold. It's going to, it's going to, we'll get it back up again. Right. Waffles is going to be reigning supreme once again. All right. So make sure you follow us on is it waffles on Solana. Let's see here. Where is the, uh, there it is. Is this it? There we go. Waffles on Solana. Again, this is another team that's put into together and I really appreciate it. Okay. Let's get on to the news for today. Morgan Stanley to broaden the ability of spot Bitcoin ETFs report. Okay. Morgan Stanley is a leading global investment bank is reportedly considering expanding the access to Bitcoin spot exchange traded funds. The firm may soon authorize its approximate 1500 brokers to actively solicit customer purchases. Okay. Morgan Stanley to widen the spot Bitcoin ETFs. Global investment bank Morgan Stanley is to contemplating broadening its access to spot Bitcoin ETF trading by permitting its approximate 15,000 brokers actively solicit customers purchase. Okay, great. Following the Securities Exchange Commission's approval on spot 11 spot ETFs earlier January. All right, perfect, perfect. But we're going to make sure that everybody has access to it. We just want to do it in a controlled way. Okay. So just so you know, if you feel you trust Morgan Stanley, you can do that. But just so you know, link is in the description below. Morgan Stanley plans to settle class action lawsuit brought by clients over the purchase of storage of special metal, precious metals in the deal worth 4.4 .4 million, according to court filing. Pro settlement still needs to be approved, but basically they're settling the fact that, you know what, they, they said to their clients that they had silver and they held their silver, but did not expect the same kind of results because, Hey, they said that in the court ruling, they complained that, Hey, wait a second, why are you suing us? This is industry wide standard practice. <laughs> there you go. All right. In other news, privacy is not a crime. Samurai in indictment provokes strong reaction from the crypto advocates. So, on Wednesday, the U.S. Department of Justice for the Southern District of New York brought charges against the creators of Samurai Wallet for running an unlicensed money transmission service and for engaging in money laundering activities. This development has left the cryptocurrency community in dismay, with many expressing their displeasure over the aggressive measures employed by the U.S. authorities to undermine financial privacy. Yes. Well, there's no way that this is going to pass any kind of salt. A wallet software is, is just a, a means of storing your cryptocurrency. And if you use Samurai wallet, you can actually obfuscate where your Bitcoins are going and how, who, who has them and where did you get them and all that kind of good stuff. So you can make it very difficult for law enforcement with a Samurai wallet to high to see what you're doing with your Bitcoin. So 
this is what they're suing them for, which is, well, not suing them for, but then, you know, calling them a money transmitter, which is, which they're not, right? <laughs> if you have some dollars and you try to obfuscate it in your wallet of the, the who you moving those dollars to, even though they, you know, they have serial numbers on them, that is not being a money transmitter. <laughs> <laughs> your wallet, your 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 physical wallet, you know, the one that you have in your hand, that could be considered a money transmit. <laughs> so you can see how this lawsuit will not go over well if if they have good lawyers. I mean they 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 laugh at them, right? I mean it's just ridiculous. Okay. Let's take a look at the charts. And if you're interested in trading, you can head over to buybit.davinciJ15.com, 2bit.davinciJ15.com, or even coinw.davinciJ15.com. Links are in the description below. All right. Well, Bitcoin looked like it was sliding down and to, to make it down to the, the red line here, but it didn't quite make it. This, If this can hold, this would be sweet. If we can hold this line here, we, let's see here, some sort of like, this this trend line here that would be b the best thing to happen to bitcoin right now you could really consider that we could m break out but if we fail here it, it will lower our chances to break out and break out and go higher and we'll most likely break down from the sixty thousand dollar mark now odds are still saying that you know we are in a bearish situation here with bitcoin so expect this to be broken this uptrend to be broken so that's that's my expectation right anything can happen but that's the uh, that's the odds are bet placed on you know bitcoin coming down so that's how it is right uh trading is not about being exact it's about taking the best probability and that's the best probability even though it sucks it is the best probability yes Whilst there's a probability, the higher probability it can go down, there is still a percentage chance it can go up, right? So let's just say the probability is 60 to 70% down, that's 40 to 30, 30 to 40% up. And so that's still a high percentage chance that Bitcoin can go higher. That's how it works. Okay, with that said, Ethereum is in the same boat. It is destined for doomsday situation right we failed to after this big run-up uh, we failed to stay on this trend line and with that failure we are looking for a downward movement for ethereum can it create a new trend line and head higher yes it can but right now there is no indication of that just down sloping situation here like as as you can see right and we can see that this might create a new trend line downwards more that's more likely so we have to see what happens there with that downward trend line that ethereum is building so odds are we have to take the bets that if we come to this trend line that the best bet to take is hey it's going down that's the way it is all right with that said thank you guys for watching i'm going to be answering the questions after the show I do this live every single day at davinciJ15.com. If you sign up for my, subscribe to my channel in my private Telegram group, you can watch this and answer, ask me questions and I will answer it. Thank you for watching and we'll see you guys tomorrow. Cheers.